Welcome to Moneymaker TV. The financial education channel focused on the business of building wealth, and the luxury lifestyle that comes with it. In today's video, we will answer the following question, how does Netflix make money? On top of exploring Netflix's business model, we will cover the following. Its origin story. How the company is a great business case of successful adapting their business model over time to grow and evolve. How it makes money. Plus, we take a closer look at Netflix's financials. But before we get into the content, a quick reminder to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our valuable money-making videos. First, let's take a closer look at how Netflix came to be, and learn a little more about what they actually do. Netflix was founded in 1997 by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph in Scotts Valley, California. Netflix's initial business model included DVD sales and rental by mail, but Hastings abandoned the sales about a year after the company's founding to focus on the initial DVD rental business. Users paid a subscription fee to avoid late fees on the DVDs they rented. By 2007 it had set up an impressive distribution network in all 50 states and had rented its billionth DVD. With all that success, JP Morgan actually downgraded the stock citing high competition and questions around how the company could reposition itself beyond the DVD rental business. Netflix 1.0 can be thought of as being a disruptor to physical stores, like Blockbuster. The ability to look ahead and adapt was not universal to all businesses in the rental space. In fact, a little-known fact is that Blockbuster passed on an opportunity to purchase Netflix in 2000. However, Netflix recognized the power and importance of data and analytics early on, and focused on perfecting a recommendation engine. Today, everything Netflix does is built on the ability to personalize selections for its users, using technology and data analytics. Netflix understood it needed to adapt beyond the physical DVD model if it was going to have long-term success. Enter Netflix 2.0. The company pivoted to streaming in 2007 by investing in infrastructure and technology. By 2016, it had 94 million subscribers. Netflix has since become the premier entertainment platform on the web, it constitutes 37% of downstream internet bandwidth during primetime hours, far ahead of Facebook, YouTube, and Amazon. Netflix has since continued to evolve by venturing into the production of entertainment. They have also been able to use their robust analytics engine to make very calculated decisions on licensing shows like, House of Cards, because they were confident their viewers would watch the show. This gives them a huge advantage over other studios that make decisions based on old methodologies like pilots and sampling. The move to produce and license their own material is critical to hold off increasing competition from other streaming companies like Hulu, and Amazon Prime. The company stock ticker is, NFLX, and is traded on the NASDAQ. So, how does Netflix make money? Netflix is probably one of the best-known subscription-based, revenue models on the planet. They make revenue from the monthly subscription fees they collect from their users. The majority of Netflix's revenue is generated through its streaming services, comprising 99% of total revenue. The other 1% of revenue is generated by sales of DVDs. However, DVD sales continue to decline. So, how much revenue does Netflix make? In 2020, Netflix posted positive cash flow for the first time since 2011. The negative cash flows in recent years were due largely to the company's strategy of spending heavily to finance growth, including the production of original entertainment. The company noted in its fourth quarter press release that it believes it is very close to generating sustainable positive free cash flow. Based on its current cash balance and an undrawn credit facility, Netflix also believes it will no longer has a need to raise external financing for day-to-day -day operations. Netflix has also seen significant gains in its net income and revenue in recent years. For the fiscal year 2020, the annual net income was $2.8 billion, up 47.9% year-over-year. While the COVID-19 pandemic has triggered disruptions in much of the global economy, 
Pandemic-related home confinement measures have helped to increase the company's global paid streaming memberships by 21.9% in 2020. Annual revenue rose 24.0% to $25 billion in 2020, which ended December 31, 2021. Netflix revenue is driven by four different segments, US and Canada account for 46%, Europe, Middle East, and Africa account for 31%, Latin America is 13%, and Asia-Pacific makes up the final 10%. While the Asia-Pacific is currently the smallest revenue segment, it is important to note that it was also the fastest growing in 2020. As of February 10, 2021, the market cap valuation for Netflix was trading at around $250 billion. Thank you for watching our video on Netflix's business and revenue model. If you enjoyed learning more about how Netflix makes money, Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we add new content. And don't forget to comment, I subscribed, below, so we can personally thank you. Additionally, if you learned something and enjoyed this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel reach more viewers. Also, make sure to check out the links below for other great money-making resources. Thanks again for watching Moneymaker TV.